Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Jesus. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a complete CCTV surveillance system step by step. So, let's get started. A complete CCTV surveillance system consists of the following. You have your DVR, your security cameras, your coaxial cables, power supplies, mouse, power pigtails, and also cat5 cable or network cable your monitor this could be a hdmi cable in this case it's a bga cable and your home router so now let's begin by looking at the back of the dvr we know that it, we have a four channel dvr so now when you get your siamese cable or coaxial cable this is a pre-made cable pre-made cable has a male connector and a female connector make sure that when you run the cable you have the male connector on the side of the camera because the camera has a female connector so now when you get your camera you get the male connector and you connect it to the power side and then you get the BNC for the video on the camera as well push and twist and then it locks so now you have your camera connected into the coaxial cable or on this case is a premium cable now the other side one of them will go into your DVR which any of the available ports on this one I'm gonna connect it in channel number one push twist any locks and then the other side this is for the power some of the surveillance systems they come with a power pigtail or a power splitter so you will connect one of, one of the pigtails whichever there is no order into this cable like so and then you will get your DC power supply and you will connect it into the pigtail like so so as you guys can see I have the DC power supply connected to the power splitter and then the splitter will provide power to the camera you will repeat these steps as many cameras as you have on this case I will just show you one example so now once you have connected your cameras you can get your USB mouse and connect it into the USB port in this guy in this case it has it on the right side some of the other DVRs may have it somewhere here or in the left side right side then you can get your cat5 cable or network cable you will connect it into the LAN port of the DVR in this case this DVR has it right here and the other side of the cable you will connect it into any available ports in your home router this is just for an illustration like so then if you have an HDMI cable or BGA in this case I have a BGA cable but you could also connect HDMI cables to your TV or monitor so I will get one of the ends of the BGA cable and connect it into the back of the unit and then the other side I will connect it into my monitor in this case I have a BGA monitor so I will connect it here like so and last I will get the power supply of the DVR and connect it into the DVR in this case this DVR has it on on this side and that's it that's how you connect a complete CCTV surveillance system now there's another way that you can connect your cameras using a power supply let's show you that example we will remove the pigtail and the power supply and now 
we will be using a standard power box. So in a standard power box, you need to have a male power pigtail, like so. So you're gonna get these two cables that are already uh, exposed. The red one is the positive, the black one is the negative. And on the power supply box, you also have your positive side and your negative side. So simply, you run the power pigtail through the holes, like so. And then you get a screwdriver, or in this case, I have a small handheld drill. I will just connect the cable. I'll show you guys in a bit. As you guys can see here, I have my black cable into the negative side and then the red cable into the positive side. You can connect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, as many as ter terminals this power supply has. So now once I have my DC power pigtail connected, simply I will connect this side into the camera power. This box can replace the power supply with the pigtails. You can connect it either, either way. And this is how you connect a complete CCTV surveillance system. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For more information, visit our website, easternccTV.com. Thank you for watching.